Welcome back to Stony Creek. Um, apologies, Tania is sick at the moment. She's got laryngitis, so she can't do the intro this week. So, But I just thought I'd show you what I've finished off on setting up for the trees and in this new section of fencing. So I've, I'll flip it around so you can watch. So up through this section here, I've got eight holes. I drilled them yesterday with the post hole digger and I've put in some amendments. I've put in a couple of scoops of uh, compost and then a layer of, um, what do you call it? It's uh, loosened mulch and and then topped off with tree mulch that's been composting for about a year. Um, and I've got about two months before I plant out this area here. So that'll get the ground ready for the trees. Uh, I should have made the, the break a little bit wider, I think. I'll keep that in mind for the next time. Otherwise, because I won't get my... I have to manage the grass within this area while the trees are growing and the fence is up. I don't want to let animals in because I'll just trash the trees. So um, to get the ride on mower in here, it probably needs a bit wider. Um, so I'll just have to do it by hand. And it's only a couple of times a year, so it's not a big deal. So that'll be good. I'll show you some of the other things that we've done this week. And um, albeit turns out of action, there won't be much veggie garden stuff. It'll be mostly the stuff that I've been doing. It's time to do some more fencing and uh, this fenced line here which I've started pulling down is pretty rickety and horrible and that's the dividing fence between the, the home paddock and the back paddock and I've got ordered most of the kit to subdivide this back paddock which I'm going to subdivide into four and that'll be much easier than this pulling down old fences it's got whiskers on it. Not enjoying it at all, but uh, got to think of it, keep the end in sight. So it'll look much better once it's done. And then I'm going to put another little fence out off of this one down the line down to the creek for a tree break through there. And I've got a number of wattles and oaks to put in there so we'll get them done in the in autumn but uh, I'll show you some more as I go alrighty I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere I've managed to pull down all the wire and the posts that I can get out there's a few posts that are still in my, they're all timber posts a couple of star pickets down the bottom and after about I don't know four or five hours I've managed to put together a, a pile of stuff there's some good stuff there this i'll use those star pickets most of those star pickets and the timber will go to firewood so that's a bonus it's amazing they're probably 80 80 years old and to think all of those holes were done with a bracing bit long before um cordless drills were ever invented i'll keep i'd go and get the tractor now and keep cracking with this if i can get the two end strainer posts in today i'll be happy I've got the new fence all complete and I've just been putting in an additional fence about 2.1 metres off of the new fence which is just a temporary fence for about five or six years to um, section off the area where I'm going to plant trees through here. Um, a combination of, of oaks and wattles up through there. I think we've got about five or six oaks. and. Um, I've got a few black wattles I could put in that, that are fairly fast growing. That'll provide a bit of shade to start with and then the, hopefully the oaks will take off and take over from them and provide some well needed shelter for this part of the paddock. So a little bit more effort but uh, it'll be worth it in the end and eventually when I get my water system in I'll set up a drip line through here so I don't have to go around and water all the trees all the time. So for the first couple of years need to provide them with watering when it's dry just to keep them alive and thriving. 
and eventually they'll they'll be self-sufficient and do their own thing but I'm nearly completed this bit just got another one two three four five about another five or six fences to put up in this back paddock and that'll see this back area divided and trees planted in it There's something very satisfying about finishing off a fence, so I've got to pull that second wire down. It's a little bit high, but all my knots are nice and even up the post, and it runs all the way down the end there, about 150 metres, and I've fixed up the corner. I've got to hang the gate down on the other end in the home paddock, but that's beside the point, but that's looking great. So once I've finished this, next week all my kit comes and I've got to put a laneway in and divide this paddock, back paddock up into two, three, four paddocks. So that'll be an effort. But it'll make life easy when it comes to moving the animals around instead of using ten rolls of, of um, portable electric fence I can just use a couple at a time much easier I just moved the sheep into this paddock here the middle paddock and you can see how long the grass is it's amazing it's quite hard to walk through it all tangles up in your legs but the animals know what they're doing they love this spot here I this was a real bare spot when we first arrived and all through here and I ran the um, yeomans plough through a lot of this and sowed some seed and this is where they come first off so they they know that it's there and the older sheep it's showing the new sheep what to do I've been playing around with um, the bank up here behind the shed and I've got seven or eight really nice fig trees that I thought I must get them in. We've got them in pots and we propagated them from our fig tree that we bought up from um, from Melbourne when we moved and they're delicious fig. They've got a really nice jelly red inside and they're dark green on the outside and they're just delicious. But um, I'm going to plant them this winter coming into spring but I thought I'd better get the soil ready. So I've, when I had the post hole digger on, I drilled some holes and I've put amendments in like compost and chicken poo and then topped it off with some tree mulch. So I'll let that sit now. And I'll, whenever I'm watering the trees, this is a macadamia tree in here. And uh, whenever I'm watering the trees, I'll... Um, I'll water these holes as well just to keep them get them ready for planting out the uh, the figs the figs are funny they just about eat anything I um, bought a couple of big round bales of well it's sort of a, a bit mouldy loosen and um, it just it was left out in the paddock too long and it was pretty cheap so we use a lot of mulch on the garden so loosen's pretty good for that because it doesn't contain any seeds and um, I've thrown it some more a couple of uh, sections of the round bale into their shelter and they're, they're really getting stuck into it they're liking it so uh, once, I, once I get back a little bit on the on the bale it's pretty good so um, they'll enjoy that and making their bed up so we'll see what they do with that in the morning Watching these girls jump up for these grapes, which I've hung from trees in a couple of spots just to give them something to do. Blue. 
We'll finish off this video for this week with um, Yuzuri signing out and her sister Spelzer and mum Panda <laughs> and the rear ends of Symbol and Spring Rain. So I hope you have a good week and we'll see you next week at Stony Creek. Bye for now.